Hey YouTube, it's me, Miss Sensational. Um, basically, I just want to get up on here and do a video about the OPKs that me and a few others I've seen on here have been using. Um, I think that the OPKs are giving us false positives, um, and these are the eBay OPKs that we that we can get off of the off of eBay, like I said, for cheap. Um, last month, as you can see on Cycle Day. Eight, I started testing and um, cycle day 8 was a positive um, which was a my unprescribed clomid cycle so you would expect for it to give me positive uh, negative positives but as you can see um, cycle to 8 9 10 all positive and on over to the next page 14 as you can see all positives all positives um, they started to get light on cycle day 26 and 27 but then also as you can see they start to get darker again <clears throat> and uh, last cycle I had I think a 34 day cycle um, because of the clomid it threw my ovulation off but the point that I'm trying to make about these OPKs is, let me go to a clear page. I tested again with that same OPK. This is cycle day seven of this cycle. And um, this is a soy cycle. So as you can see, that's cycle day seven. And this one, is also cycle day seven two different ovulation strips I mean yeah ovulation strips um, get it to focus and as you can see the top one is positive and the bottom one is negative and like I said this was a soy cycle so for those of you who are using these OPKs here, which is this internet strip test, you may want to kind of test with another OPK. Um, this month I bought the Wanfos, which um, is this one here. So that's just a heads up for you ladies who are using these you may want to do a second test with another OPK. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to leave me a message down below in my comment box. Thanks.